Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session at Google Cloud Next on succeeding in digital media and e-commerce with data. We're going to discuss how Motorola has measured their digital media and e-commerce success with Supermetrics and Google BigQuery. To introduce today's panel, I'm Max Graziano. I'm a solutions architect here at Google Cloud, joined by Flavia da Costa e Silva. She's a regional marketing director at Motorola Mobility along with Sara Kahim, a customer success manager at Supermetrics. I'm going to follow me to tell you a little bit about Motorola Mobility. Sure. Motorola is a brand that exists to deliver innovations that are meaningful to people so they can transform the way they discover, share, and connect with the world they live. We have global presence. Our products and solutions are available in more than 100 countries. Being founded in 1928, we have a legacy of disruption and innovation and some of the most iconic devices of all times. And Sarah, tell us a little bit about Supermetrics. So Supermetrics, in a nutshell, um, is a market leader in moving marketing data into all major reporting, storage, and analytics platforms. We're based in Helsinki, and but we have a global presence, and we have up to 300 people uh, working across the world, so some in Finland, across Finland, Ireland, Lithuania, Singapore, and the U.S. And we serve uh, over 750,000 um, users across 120 countries. Gotcha. Very cool. So let's talk a little bit about the problem that Motorola is facing with their marketing tech. Yeah, so we have 13 sites in Latin America receiving traffic from several sources that are integrated to other platforms. But our sites are not only commerce sites. That's where we have all the information about our products and services. So a lot of branding or awareness campaigns, such as product launch campaigns, are also generating traffic to the sites. Additionally, a good part of these reports for both e-commerce and branding were done through external partners, making it harder for us to get the big picture and make fast and data-driven decisions. So with this in mind, having complete ownership of our data was key to address visibility and decision-making. Data needs to be easy and quick to access and in a way that allows the marketing teams here to have visibility of all campaigns and how they are performing. Once you have it, you improve your turnaround time and the decisions we need to make are much more assertive now. And let's talk a little bit about the solution that you found with Supermetrics running on BigQuery. Um, I can tell a little bit more about this. So the challenges and the priorities the Motorola team had is exactly what the Supermetrics for BigQuery solution is built to handle. Um, in a nutshell, we integrate with all of your marketing data sources, and then um, the data is delivered to BigQuery according to the preset schemas or schemas tailored to fit your specific needs. Um, and then the data can be combined with other business inf uh, critical information such as CRM or sales data, and then display it in your reporting tool of choice. Um, at Motorola, this basically meant pulling data from around 10 different data sources and then storing it into the BigQuery instance and using that data to instantly surface relevant insights and um, for the marketing team. And if we dive a little bit deeper into the Supermetrics for Google BigQuery solution, uh, we can see that an advertiser, typical marketer, has a large number of different data sources, different data systems that they're having to log into, whether that's your ad buying platforms, whether it's your web analytics, whether it's your internal CRM systems and platforms. Having different <coughs> UIs and different logins what makes it really challenging to gain a holistic view of what's happening across your organization when it comes to where your marketing dollars are going and how effective they are. Supermetrics on top of BigQuery adds a layer of aggregation to help bring in that data and ingest it so they can start to make sense of what's going on with that data so they can also then make smarter decisions that runs on top of google's bigquery our serverless petabyte scale data warehouse that we have here at google that really provides a lot of performance um, benefits that's needed to run analytical workloads such as those that a market or marketing organization would need well, I mean, tell us a little bit about the result that you've seen from implementing the Supermetrics on Google BigQuery solution and the impact that you've seen within your organization. 
So as Sara mentioned, we used to have at least 10 different sources of data that generated more than 20 reports per country, and we had no consolidated view for our region, Latin America. Considering all the platforms we need to get data from, uh, we, we are talking about more than 40 accounts we needed to access to extract the data. Uh, our targets were also somewhere else. And then in the case of our e-commerce, the final result or the net sales, uh, it was also in another platform. The CRM data also lives in another system. So in summary, it was very hard for us to put manually everything together. And because of that, it, to, it used to take us like uh, some days to evaluate holistically uh, the performance of all our digital media investments. And then uh, after super, super metrics, um, we could put our plans into practice. We have today all the data from the media plans that represents our targets, all the media partners data from impressions to uh, costs, all information from e-commerce platform, Google Analytics and CRM flowing today into BigQuery. Using uh, data visualization tools, we built reports and dashboards that allow us to track today traffic conversions, CPA rollers, and other KPIs very quickly identify what needs adjustment and what we can further improve to generate more sales. Uh, I can also mention other benefits like man hour savings. Now the teams are using their time to analyze the performance, discuss, and take actions instead of using this time just to put the data together. Also talking about time, that we have all the information in our hands, the decision-making process is much quicker and we take action much faster, which means we improved a lot uh, our optimization capabilities. So that's exactly what I meant. Uh, the numbers speak for themselves. Over the past 18 months, our return on advertising spend, the rollers increased 80%. The conversion rate is 45% higher. The CPA, the cost per acquisition, declined by 32%, and we were able to deliver 64% increase in e-commerce orders. Yeah, for us, combining our marketing data with our sales data is the basis for something bigger. We do have other sources with highly valuable information for our business. We are now integrating CRM metrics like open rate and click rate to have like an end-to-end -end view on the CRM campaigns too. The plans for the future includes integrating all the data we have in our points of sales to have a complete view of a product launch campaign, for example. Besides, of course, building an attribution model, model that will consider all the touch points that we have in this complex ecosystem. And finally, affiliate marketing is another opportunity we are using to keep growing, using, of course, supermetrics to bring this data into BigQuery. Great, great points, uh, Flavia. So a uh, marketing attribution in general has been a topic that we talk to a lot of our clients about. And with tracking and privacy changes happening all over the world, it's becoming increasingly hard to prove marketing effectiveness. Um, so Motorola has a really good foundation already built on this as they have been gathering data into their BigQuery instance for a while now. That bank of data will help them um, come together with much more accurate model and then also be able to track these historically. Well, wow, that's really interesting. Thank you all for sharing so much information about the uh, super metrics on Google BigQuery deployment over at Motorola Mobility. Thank you Thank very you much for having us. Thank you, Max.